well, Connor was Connor's not going to fight, fight, but that he's supposed to on that. Yeah. Okay. So what's the deal with that? Do you guys think that that fight is going to happen? It's not happening. Whoa. You know that for a fact? Mm-hmm. Hey. The podcast, and will you share? Oh, hold up! I'll answer that one, but uh, I didn't answer about being pr- proud of Brian. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oops. Um, the with Brian, the way he dealt with this stuff, but I'll get emotional here. It drives me. Oh, if we're being honest, it leave this, Jim. Don't edit mm-hmm. this out. I'm speaking from my fucking heart. I know you're not gonna like this. I'm gonna look right. It drives me fucking nuts. Nuts. That Brian's at where he's at. I will challenge anyone, any comic, to go on stage after Callen. I challenge any of those comics. I don't give a fuck if it's the comedy store, it, where Zanies, wherever they're at. And you're telling me Brian's not better than 99% of those fucking comics. It drives me nuts that he's not up there with those guys. He's better than fucking 99% of them. And you want to outcast him over some bullshit? That's what I don't fuck with. That's what upsets me. So what makes me proud and not mad, I'm trying to get mad, what makes me proud is he's not going to lash out about it. Brian's cool. Brian goes to work. Brian's doing the road. Brian's trying to sell tickets. But I'll tell you right now, I don't forget. That shit's not cool with me. That's why you don't see me at those fucking places. Sorry, dude. Come on. What you got? Ken, this comes from Instagram. D. Graham Sem, can you share a time when you each were secretly proud of each other? I'm proud of him all the time. <laughs> I mean, Come on, guys. no, I'm proud. trying to think. I, that, that caught me off guard. I, I told Brennan the other day, your your strength is your heart. Your strength is that, like, Brennan will if Brennan will lash out if his feelings are hurt, and he'll fucking go into fight mode. And I'm like that. That your biggest strength is the fact that you care about people deeply. And and that you have a huge heart, and so whenever it's also you, my biggest liability. That's it. But you're the, but be the prince. Let your heart get broken and keep being <sighs> what you are. Take care of people like you do, and that's, that's that heart started to get real bad. dark, real dark. <laughs> but you told me like, dude, don't let it change. Like I'm telling you, lose that, dude. And it, it didn't. Ch- I'm for a actually while, secretly dude. proud that he stopped drinking and stopped. He just stopped everything Adderall, cold yeah. turkey. He was going through some addiction shit, mm-hmm. and 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 that's really this motherfucker just went. Oh, okay. I'm done with that. I was just living a weird life, man. On the road, like not making decisions like a married man and a father of three should do. Like it was, I was going down a road that I was like, who is it? Like literally, I was like, who is this guy? What the fuck are you doing, man? Yeah. Me too. That's why you don't see me on the road. That's why, you know, I'm around my kids. Like I I was going down a road that it's, it's not what I do. It's not why I signed up for this. Uh, And the other thing is. Guys who can manage that stuff, God bless you. you you're, you're figuring out better than I am. I can't. I can't do the road. I can't give you the good quality podcast. I can't do the car stuff I want to do and be a dad and be a coach and be a good husband. I can't do it. Yeah. So something has to give. If that yeah. means making less money and not doing the road, sign me up. 